Hi students, this is our third tutorial of concentration series. Uh, in our last two tutorials, we discussed about molarity and parts per million. And in this tutorial, we will uh, study the interconversion of uh, parts per million and molarity. Uh, parts per million are of two types, as we know, weight by volume and weight by weight. So in this very slide, we will see how molarity and weight by volume ppm concentrations uh, can be computed i mean if one of them is given how you can calculate the other one so we have a simple formula here that ppm weight by volume can be calculated if we have molarity and molar mass of the solute and the simplest formula is that molarity multiplied by molar mass and then multiplied with 1000 will give you the value of parts per million weight by volume. And this equation can be rearranged to calculate molarity as well if ppm values are given. So as we know that molarity is number of moles per liter and molarity multiplied by molar mass gives us number of grams of solute per liter of solution and if we have number of grams of solute per liter of solution we can also calculate number of milligrams per liter of solution so number of grams multiplied by 1000 will give us how number of milligrams of solute per liter of solution and milligrams per liter as we have seen in our last tutorials are equal to parts per million so molarity multiplied by molar mass multiplied by thousand give us parts per million weight by volume as a solved example uh, ppm concentration is to be calculated molarity of HCl is given 0.02 molar and molecular mass of HCl is 36.5 gram per mole uh, so applying this very formula here molarity multiplied by molar mass multiplied by 1000 is equal to 730 parts per million weight by volume this is how we can calculate uh, molarity or parts per million weight by volume if the other term is given Likewise, if we have parts per million weight by volume and we want to convert it into molarity, we can use this very formula here. The only difference between uh, the formula we have previously used and this one is the density factor. As we know that density uh, can be used to calculate volume or mass if the other property is given I mean if the mass is given you can calculate volume and the volume is given you can calculate mass so because ppm weight by weight is a mass to mass ratio and molarity has a volume factor in order to convert that volume factor into mass we need density here so this equation can be rearranged to get this one if you have ppm weight by weight you can also calculate molarity provided you have the density of the solution in order to elaborate this uh, we can see here that volume in liters multiplied by density gives us the mass of solution in kilograms and mass of solution is what required to get ppm weight by weight uh, molarity multiplied by molar mass which is actually this one will give you grams per liter and grams per liter divided by density will give you gram per kilogram and gram per kilogram can be used to calculate ppm values so that's what is being done here uh, here is a solved example that we calculate the ppm values weight by weight concentration of oxalic acid molarity is given 0.05 molar density is 1.05 gram per ml and the molar mass of oxalic acid with two water molecules is 126 gram per mole all the data is here so we can put values in this very formula molarity into molar mass into thousand divided by density and we are getting 6000 ppm weight by weight now if you have 
parts per million weight by weight and parts per million weight by volume they can also be interconverted and the only factor we need is the density and the formula is very simple that ppm values in weight by volume if divided with density you can get ppm values of weight by weight or ppm values of weight by weight multiplied with density will give you ppm values weight by volume so these these can also be simply interconverted by means of density this is all the example 1000 parts per million weight by volume this is given of sodium chloride in 1 liter volume of solution is this density is 1.1 so what it means actually is that 1000 milligrams or 1 gram of salt in 1000 ml of solution 1000 ppm mean 1000 milligrams per liter or 1 gram per liter uh, the density we have mass over volume or density multiplied by volume is mass putting this value here 1.1 into volume is equal to 1100 grams mass of this solution and that's the only thing we need uh, because in ppm weight by volume we have volume factor and in ppm weight by weight we have mass factor so we have calculated mass of solution and we already have mass of solute because mass of solute is this one one gram so one gram divided by mass of solution multiplied by 10 raised to power 6 gives us ppm weight by weight which is 909.09 .09 ppm weight by weight here we can see that 1000 ppm weight by volume equals 909 ppm weight by weight and why this is so it's because of the density of solution if the density of solution is 1 say then ppm weight by volume will be equal to ppm weight by weight if the density is greater than 1 then ppm weight by volume will have higher values and ppm weight by weight will have lesser values and vice versa so if we use this 909.09 .09 ppm weight by weight and multiply this with density according to this formula we are getting 1000 ppm weight by volume which also verifies the formulas which are being used here so that was it uh, in this very uh, tutorial we have seen that how molarity parts per million weight by volume and parts per million weight by weight can be interconverted uh, this is your exercise uh, calculate uh, ppm weight by volume from ppm weight by weight uh, you can consider density of this solution to be 1.2 say uh, it's not given here uh, what will be the concentration of zinc nitrate solution in ppm weight by weight if it is 0 0.025 molar molar mass is 171 gram per mole uh, we need to calculate ppm weight by weight uh, molarity is given so from molarity to weight by weight we will need density again you can uh, consider the density is 1.2 in question number 2 here uh, third is calculate the ppm concentration weight by volume if the molarity of the copper sulfate is this molarity is given by weight by volume is to be calculated so you, you have got this molar mass here uh, similarly in last question we need to calculate molarity ppm weight by volume is given molar mass is given so uh, that can be done uh, in all these questions wherever you need uh, density you can put 1.2 for the sake of exercise in our next tutorial we will talk about molarity and normality uh, which are also quite often uh, used concepts in solution concentrations thank you very much for your attention